exclusive live radar and nine-day forecast. So you'll know first, this is First Alert Weather. Yeah, don't throw footballs. People are uh, no. football their mind a little bit early. And Barbie and Oppenheimer, I noticed you're pink tonight, Pete. Yes. Kind of. Karen's wearing a nice uh, pink jacket. You'll see that in just a few minutes, right, Karen? Karen's yes. ready. All right, all right. And we're all uh, ready for the heat, I, I hope. No rain expected, though. 10% chance is all we're going to get tomorrow morning. A few stray showers. Then we look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with the heat kicking in. Uh, I'm afraid the models aren't showing much of a chance at all when it comes to rainfall. But look at this. We're not alone when it comes to the heat. You've heard about the heat already in, in the desert southwest. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be spreading across most of the plains. We're going to be getting that, especially starting with Monday. And you see the majority of the country, at least almost half of it, are going to be dealing with temperatures above normal. It is 73 now. It has been comfortable thanks to some somewhat cooler, drier air that moved in a couple of days ago. That's why it felt great yesterday, felt great today. But tomorrow you're going to start feeling it um, changing just a bit with the humidity level slowly creeping upward. Dew point at 67. When you see that number actually climbing into the 70s, and you will starting as early as Monday, Tuesday, that means the humidity levels are also increasing in the air and it becomes that heat and humidity uh, that we're going to be dealing with all next week. And temperature wise right now for our Saturday night though, 71 in Trenton, Chillicothe you're at 74. On the Kansas side, Hiawatha at 75, you're down to 71 Lawrence and 72 degrees when you look at areas like Ottawa and Garnett. And the wind flow again has been very light today. It will continue to be light tonight and light tomorrow about 5 to 10 miles an hour. There really isn't that much when you look at clouds radar even combined. Now, early we had thunderstorms. We showed you first alert live Doppler radar. As of now, though, it's just so quiet. I mean, you have to go all the way out to the south central Kansas to pick up some thunderstorms there. All those are moving due south, so really no impacting us at all. But we're not going to rule out that slight chance, and you saw that, 10% chance of a, a pop-up shower for the early morning hours tomorrow. We'll start out about 66 for the morning start, right before sunrise, but then you add a lot of sunshine, especially in the afternoon. Our daytime high is going to push near 90 degrees. So here we go, 90 plus. So enjoy tomorrow because come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, do I really need to voice it all for you? Just look at it. 96 Monday after the morning start is 70. Also, the numbers, when you look at the morning lows, only getting down into the mid-70s. It's very sticky, all right? So here we go. 97 for a high on Tuesday. Heat index value, it'll feel like 100 up to 105. Probably the hottest day, if you really could tell the difference. 99 for a high on Wednesday with a heat index 105 to 110. And then 98 for a high on Thursday. The only chance of rain as of right now may not even happen until Friday. It's just a few spotty showers, a couple of thunderstorms, high of 93, and back into the mid to upper 90s next weekend.